Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use time picker in material UI. In last video, we have learned that how we can install this X date picker library that have the date picker time picker component and how to use localization provider than adapter so i have explained you in the last video also in date picker video you can prefer that so we have localization provider we have adapter then we have a date picker similar to that i just copy this here once again i paste it here after this one more stack i am taking and here i just close uh, localization also i say localization like this and i close stack also like this and i save this and if you see that right now we have date but i will change it to time for that i say here time picker remember i am changing only time picker here i i say select time remember that i am removing this because it's not a date and in place of this value i say here time value and here I say set time value like this and I just create one more variable of this type copy this paste this and here I say a uh, time value and I say set time value save this and if you see time picker is not imported so I have to import time picker also so I say import time picker from x MUI X date picker and here I say time picker save this and if you see that we have like a date picker I have a time picker also I click on this we have a watch click on this click on this we have a time we can set 2 p.m. also like this we have a time again we can set this time like this we can use this also like this so this time is coming here now like that we have a date picker normal date picker we have a mobile date picker we have a desktop date picker similarly we have this date picker also like we have a static time picker you see we have static one also like this static date picker like this we have like this we have a static date picker also time picker also like a date picker we have a static one but we have the modification of these two so I have a mobile and desktop version like this or I have a static one also like this. So what you want to use you can prefer yourself. So here I am giving example of copy paste mobile picker mobile time picker here also mobile then desktop time picker here I say desktop save this now I just copy this time picker to more time no change at all save this save this and change this to mobile change this to desktop and save it change this name mobile time picker change this to desktop time picker save this and we have the all three type of you see we have similar to date picker like this we have time picker we have like this you see like this way okay in mobile version we have a desktop date picker click on this we have like this you see so this desktop type and this normal type is same mobile type is little bit different you may have a static type also in a static type it will display screen uh, you see in a static type if I want to see this will be it will display like this you can display the hall like this so if I change to uh, static like this I say static static time picker and I change it to static here also save this and you see we have such kind of static also so we can select the time like this but it is not because we have to set it to the desktop mode 
otherwise it will give some problem because not a mobile version so for that I have to set here static display static wrapper to desktop like this save this and you see like that we have to use it if I am changing time so automatically you see this time is also changing it covering all the screen so like that we can use a static one also we can use desktop one also so uh, this is not good for example so I am using desktop desktop one and here I don't need this property and uh, here I also change to desktop here also desktop save this you see now we can also put some validation like this we have put the validation that we cannot go beyond this you see we can't go before this uh, 2022 so like this we can set time also so how we, I can set these restrictions so I say here like on desktop version I say here uh, we have a mean time mean time and I say uh, in mean time I say day js and here I need to pass the time so first of all I have to give the date so I say 22 uh, then I say 0 fab maybe any date we can give and here I pass T and I say just minimum date is uh, 0 8 10 this time I want minimum should be means time should be more than 8 10 after 22 of fab 22 so like that we try to do this click here and uh, I try to select the time 8 and uh, uh, that time I want to uh, I set this on desktop mode so I go to this desktop and you see that 8 to 8 after this you see we have this means 8 you see 7 is not visible this 6 is not visible 5 4 3 2 1 12 all are just minimum 8 10 time is there you see and then we have this so by the help of this restrictions we have restrict this click here and you see 7 6 5 4 2 1 all are disabled similarly I can set max time also suppose I say here that max time is max time is I say 10 10 save so this means 8 to 10 I can select a time so you see that if I click here so you see 8 to 10 only visible you see 8 to 10 only visible then we have the second 0 to 10 is disable all are visible you see if I select the time limit like this and I I would not be able to select beyond this you see I am not able to select these value here I am not able to select 5 to 10 also you see these are disabled so like that way we can use min function min time and max time property of these component also I can apply these property to this also and this also it will run on each and every your component of time picker so that's all in this video about time picker if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video